Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from ComputerGarGar.com. This tutorial will look at how to insert a picture inside a cell comment in Excel. Now this is looking at the idea that using pictures in Excel, you know, Excel wasn't built for handling pictures and we may put images on there like a company logo etc and we can stick them in the header maybe for printing but when it comes to inserting pictures that accompany a record so maybe it's a picture of, of an employee in a record or of a product you know, Excel doesn't cater for this very well and the size of the picture can make your spreadsheets cumbersome you know be scrolling down and scrolling right because of the sheer size uh, of each cell having to accommodate that picture so a fantastic alternative is to insert it in a comment this will mean it is only visible when the user chooses to view them such as by hovering over it with their mouse or clicking a button to display them all and then being able to click that button again to hide them all so let's have a look at it on screen at the moment I have uh, four favorite characters um, looking at adding a picture of Woody Woodpecker as an example of this the first thing I will do is select the cell that I want to insert this comment to uh, so I'm going to go for cell C2 here and I'll go to the review tab and into new comment as this new comment box appears it will display my username trainee1 and my cursor flashing ready for me to insert the text that I want to use what I'm going to do is delete that username otherwise that's going to appear over the top of the picture which I do not want so I'll delete that text then I'm going to right mouse click on the border of my comment looking for them four arrows facing away from centre nine and I'm on it right mouse click and choose format comment from the menu that appears from here I'm going to go for the colours and lines tab into the drop list arrow for colour and go for fill effects to open up a further dialog box this dialog box as well as some fantastic textures and gradients you may want for whatever reason uh, we are going for the picture tab into the select picture button and to navigate to the pictures we want so I have this pix folder here we, there's Woody looking fantastic let's insert Woody Woodpecker wonderful now I can click on OK once I've located and found my picture click on OK again to insert it now I can always resize the comment if I wanted it large or what not obviously looking at the size of that that wouldn't make it an issue you know that covers seven rows I want each record to be seven rows I could have thousands of these uh, let's make it a bit more awkward for me to use but now by clicking off of that that becomes live and it's not visible at the moment I have a red triangle in the corner of the Woody Woodpecker cell, cell C2. And by hovering over it, I can make that uh, comment be visible for when I want to see it. Alternatively, I have these buttons on the review tab, the next and previous buttons, which I can use. Now I've only got the one here, clicking previous again on it. Next will say, oh, you don't have any more. Do you want to start again from the beginning? Uh, yeah, go on in. And I'm back at Woody Woodpecker, so I only have one comment. But next and previous will move you through each one. There is also the uh, show all comments box, which if I click on that button, will display all the comments permanently at that point. Uh, so needs to really make sure that they don't overlap if that was a scenario. Uh, I can always click that button for them to hide again. But it's just turn on your comments and turn them off. Okay, so that is a solution for handling pictures of records in Excel to use comments that are only visible when you wish them to be visible. Thank you for watching. I hope you find this useful. Please check out some of our other tips and tricks at computergargar.com.